I knew Chloe would be all over this. So I better get moving. You know you're hurting when you don't give a shit about music. It's amazing how happy Kate looks here compared to today. She was basically pushed up to that roof, and I will use my power to find out why. This has to end. How did Sherlock Holmes deduce anything without the internet? Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting Kate. Now she has another video of herself all over the web. And even I'm in this one. Oh, at least the news didn't mention my name. Yet. Hmm. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. I shouldn't sound so disappointed. I sure hope these people treat her better when she comes back to school. If she does. Man, I really turned a molehill into a mountain. I feel bad for Mr. Jefferson about this. Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. Everybody will be talking about Kate now. Blackwell might as well shut down for the next month. Hey, Bunny. Kate will be back soon, and until then, I'll be catering to your every whim. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. First I saved Chloe, then Kate, and now you, Lisa. <laughs> Not a bad record for a week. There's been so much going on, I almost forgot about the eclipse. <sighs> All this atmospheric action can't be a coincidence and all roads are leading to my tornado vision. <sighs> Kate's okay, Max. Take a breath. Get your shit together. You have time. Jeepers, I am so freaking tired. <sighs> I sound like a moron. But crime does not delay. I need to stay on top of this investigation. Pretty hard to focus on my class schedule this week. I wonder why. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... Where the hell are you, Rachel Amber? That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. So much hypocrite. Do they really need that crap on the door? Kate's still alive. The end of the world might be coming before your party. I bet you'll party like it's 1999. Assholes. Kate probably won't want to look at these posters when she comes back. Hey Max, I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. I can. 
I'm just so glad she didn't. Are you okay? I'm just like shocked. I've never seen anybody try to kill themselves before. Me neither. I didn't think you'd be so upset considering how much shit you and Victoria gave Kate. I'm my own person, not Victoria's bitch. Hello, like she's freaking too. She already broke curfew tonight. <gasps> shit, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. Where did she go? I know I can trust you since you were so nice asking about my mom in the hospital, but Victoria will like make my life hell if I blab, okay? No doubt. I do hope your mother gets better. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks. You're like weird, but pretty cool, Max. Especially after watching you go up on that roof. Victoria's wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Hey, Max. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. I know. Victoria must be upset since I saw her sneaking out of the dorm past curfew. Oh man, like, you saw her? She was so, like, nervous when she left the dorm. She wouldn't even tell me where she was going. Probably to hell. Well, I have to go crash. <laughs> it's been a rough day, as you know. Thanks, Max. And it was, like, pretty awesome when you went up to the roof to save Kate. Victoria was wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Jeez, Taylor actually seems concerned about Kate. I, like, really do need to get some sleep, Max. I hope Victoria feels particularly shitty about posting that link. Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Since I've crossed the line from Snoop to Detective, I might as well search for clues about what really happened to Kate at the Vortex Club party. Victoria is about as straight as me, but she really appreciates style. Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the Chase space. Color me impressed. A unique point of view is right, thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. There has to be some dirt in here on Victoria. Well, well. Victoria and Taylor actually show remorse. That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. Victoria's secret, she's a geek. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. I'll title this one, Portrait de la Assholes. Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. <sighs> Nothing to see here. I guess I shouldn't be so bummed. Not that Victoria couldn't hide her shit. 
Man, I'm getting paranoid. Those boots are made for walking runways. I hope you burn bright again soon, Kate. Hey, Max? Come here. Dana's really hurting over this. Dana's really hurting over this. Yes, the Vortex Club does indeed suck. Dana clearly doesn't mind if I peruse her laptop. Aw, Trevor is a sweetie. Good for Dana. If Dana talks to Juliet about this, she's gonna wish she didn't. Dana looks guilty and relieved about Kate. She really does care. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. I knew she was depressed, but I had no idea how bad. Must be serious to throw yourself off the roof. Kate was serious, but it's not all about that video. So what exactly are you saying, Max? I know Jefferson got reamed by the principal. Do you think they're involved? It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. I am wiped out, Max. We'll talk later. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party.